Okay, so this looks like a great spot. I think I'll just uh, dig out some of the snow here and make a nice fire lay and uh, get a cheap, cheap fire going and uh, go from there. So to have fun anyways. Dead sanding. Awesome. All right, so we got the fire lay ready. Um, basically dead standing wood uh, that's pretty much soggy standing wood, but it'll act as a great base for what I'm trying to do, just dead birch. And I peeled off a bit of birch bark to uh, get the fire really going. So all I really need to do is get some spruce kindling, basically. Dead tree branches, basically, is all I'm looking for. And uh, enough to go for a little while to get a coffee on and sit back and relax. I might have to think about a chair, but we'll see. This has kind of become my favorite way to start a fire as of late. Just because it's uh, pretty easy. It's fun. It takes off really well. The spruce smells pretty awesome too. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty small piece here, so I just need something a little longer in the future, but I got lots at home. I collected a bunch. I'll probably do a video on it at some point in time just because it's something that comes up in topics every now and again. Everybody has a different take on it. Ah, oh, it smells great. Here, I'll give you a close-up of this. All right. See if I, can... I don't know if you can see that. That's probably better there. That's some pretty sweet resin in it. Um, the stuff I found was just fantastic. So, yeah, I'll be getting more of that for sure. But, uh, there we go. See if we can get that to catch. Kind of sucks not having solid ground to work on. 
everything sinks when you try and cut it. Plus I have no solid foundation to split it on, on top of that. So I'm just going to have to hope that I can get it going. Okay, so a little bit of a false start. It didn't take as I expected with the outer wood being too wet. Um, so I put a little drier wood on it and then I lined it with the other wood till it dries out a bit and we're good to go. So I'm going to let this go for a bit. Try and get a handful of coals in the front here and then uh, yeah, we'll put some water on and get something to eat. Puppy's getting pretty hungry so should probably feed her now and I'll uh, eat in a little bit. Hey buddy. A little too warm. What? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What's up? Hungry? Hungry, buddy? You're always hungry. You're always hungry. I'm uh, blessed with a, a runny nose all the time. It's awesome. I think I've mentioned it before. Love my life. Love it. Uh, way worse in the winter, of course, but yeah, what are you going to do? So winter's starting to die down slowly. Uh, this is probably one of the last hoorahs in terms of snowfall. And then from here, it should be spring pretty soon. Um, looking forward to that. Looking forward to no snow and no cold. Uh, it's been a weird, long winter. Um, not as adventurous as I hoped to, to be. Um, life kind of takes you down certain roads and you, you deal with what you get. Uh, at the time of shooting this video, I just rolled over 600 subscribers, which is fantastic. Uh, 400 more to go at the rate that I'm going, which should be pretty good. So it's really just come down to subscribers. So hopefully I can get a 400 more by the end of this year. But, uh, you know, we'll just take it a day at a time. Um, getting lots of support from all, all the subscribers I do have. Um, the views are pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, got a few cabin ideas, things I want to do. I want to I wanna fix up. I want to tidy up the cabin. But it really will be the best when spring comes. You can feel the warmer breeze. It's plus one, I think, right now, maybe plus two. Um, you can definitely feel the warmth in the air compared to normal. Um, I like it. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's a nice change. It's supposed to be plus five or plus six next week. Oh, puppy dog's hanging out. Uh, and that's going to, um, that's gonna be great. It's gonna melt the snow pretty quick. It's pretty thick down here, but up where, where I live and up around the cabin, it's all pretty thin. So a few days and it could be all gone. So it's really just ice. There's this sheet of ice under everything that obviously see me deal with at the cabin that will take the longest to melt. But no, no big rush, I guess, on that level. Anyways, folks, I'm going to enjoy this tea for a bit. Keep the fire going. Stay warm and sit back and enjoy this 
lovely sounds of machinery chopping down nature's finest wood. It's just so gratifying. It's just so gratifying. You know, it is what it is, I guess, on that level. All right, I'll stop uh, yammering on, and uh, I'll get back with you in a little bit. So the cup of tea was pretty good, all warmed up again. I think I might wander over to the cabin or something like that and uh, see, uh, see what needs to be cleaned off because it was a fair bit of snow so we'll uh, have to go get that kind of cleaned up regardless. This is a nice change of pace to get out and do this. I don't haven't done this in a while. I need to get out and do these things more often, just kind of random day outs. I think as the uh, spring unfolds and it's easier to get around, I think I'll probably end up doing it a bit more. Um, so I have my usual backpacking trips and all that jazz, but uh, I need more of these day trip things. It's easy to get carried away doing all the cabin stuff. So, Well, I'm going to uh, get everything cleaned up get this fire put out and uh, buried in snow. I have to remember the spot. I actually really like it, so I think uh, I'll come back when the snow's gone. But for now, we'll get her, get her all cleaned up and uh, head on out. Oh, Ugh. my hands are too cold and it's too much of a fiddly thing to do. And you have gloves on. Hey, stop playing with my apple. That's my apple. No. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's see if we can get it in this way. Can't get much into these packs when they're jammed full, so let's try this again. There we go. That'll do, donkey. That'll do.